Hi everyone and welcome back. So it's been a minute, um, as in I literally don't remember when the last one was, since I did a favorites video and since I have been trying out so many amazing products throughout the month of April and maybe a little bit even earlier in 2019, I wanted to sit down and do a good old fashioned favorites video, chat you through what I've been loving this month. I can't wait to share a lot of my April beauty favorites with you guys and before I get into the video, if you're not already subscribed, hit that button down below. I put out new videos every Monday and Friday and would love to have you join in on the fun. Also turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video and if you find this video useful be sure to give it a thumbs up at the end. And now that that's out of the way, let's chat favorites. So I'm going to start off with skincare because probably to the surprise of no one that is the biggest category of things that I have been obsessed with this month. And where should I even begin? Um, let's start off with something that I've already talked to you guys about, but I just wanted to reiterate how much I have been loving it and obsessed with it. And that is the Then I Met You Cleansing Duo um, from Soko Glam founder Charlotte Cho, who I'm obsessed with just as a cool businesswoman and entrepreneur. So definitely go check her out if you haven't yet. But Then I Met You is her own brand that she released um, separate from Soko Glam. And I love the periwinkle blue packaging. I think it's such a breath of fresh air from all of the millennial pink. As much as I love a good dose of millennial pink, sometimes you just need a little bit of a break, but what I love even more is how well this duo works. Um, my skin has been in really good condition lately. Obviously I'm wearing makeup now, but I'm hoping to do um, a wellness vlog later this month, so definitely stay tuned for that where I will probably be barefaced at some point, you can see for yourself. So if you don't know, in K-Beauty, double cleansing involves using an oil-based cleanser first, followed by a water-based cleanser to make sure you're really getting everything out of your skin. The cleansing balm has this amazing mango color. As you can see, I've made a really solid dent in it. And then it's dry hands, dry face, so you massage it into your skin and then you rinse it off. Then when you're done, you go back in with the water-based cleanser, and one of the ingredients in this, which I think is really interesting, is actually sake. And you can kind of smell the sake a little bit from the product, but it's not a gross, overwhelming alcohol smell. It just makes me kind of want to eat some sushi, I'm not gonna lie. I've mostly been using the Then I Met You combination at night, especially once I have makeup and my skin has been out and about all day and I really want to like get in there and double cleanse my face. But I have a new favorite combination for the morning also and it's from a brand I've never talked about on here before. So this is the Lano Lips Face Base Gel Cream Cleanser and then this is the Lano Lips Face Base Vitamin E Day Cream and I am obsessed with this combination. So I was actually fortunate enough to attend a breakfast earlier this month or maybe at the end of March, but I think it was earlier this month um, with the Lanolips founder, Kirsten Carroll. Um, she's really awesome and she is Australian. This is an Australian based brand and I just loved the way she spoke about her product. Um, I love the packaging and most importantly, of course, I love the way the product feels. These products are best suited for normal to dry skin. Um, so if you guys know, I have more dry skin. There are no parabens, artificial colors, or fragrances in these products, which is awesome. And the Face Based Day Cream especially has 98.4 natural ingredients, which I always love. I love knowing what is going on in my face, um, especially because, you know, we like to take care of our face around here. So lately I've been starting off my morning washing with the gel cream cleanser and then I immediately apply the day cream right after that because lately in the mornings I've kind of been like wash my face, get up, answer a couple emails, do some stuff, and then maybe like an hour or two later I'll be applying makeup. So I like having some kind of moisturizer on my face right after I finish washing in the morning. So yeah, definitely a fan of this. Be sure to check them out. There used to be a Co-Big Lowe's store at the Garden State Plaza in New Jersey, like where I grew up. And I remember in middle school, my friends and I would just go in and smell all of the lip balms and like try to pick a flavor. And I always ended up picking chocolate just because it smelled the best. And Wow, I just have like such solid sensory flashbacks of this brand. So anyway, they recently have kind of released some new packaging. Like look at how gorgeous this is. And it's actually kind of reminiscent of their first flagship in New York City. So this is the West Village Rose Hand Cream. And first of all, it smells amazing. And I've just been loving, I always kind of keep a hand cream like by my bed, especially for the end of the day. So I've just been loving being able to apply this to my skin. I love that it instantly kind of looks and feels really hydrated. And again, I do love the smell because Kobe Glow, as I just told you, always gets me with their scents every time. It's been a minute since I've used this brand, but I'm definitely happy to have rediscovered it and will definitely be keeping an eye on what they're up to next. I have been searching for a while for an eye cream, like literally any eye cream. I had no knowledge of eye creams. I'd never used one before and I just wanted to try them out. And then I was given this one by Bosha. This is the Indigo Eye Cream and 
it is actually crafted with wild indigo which i think is so cool so it says the one step wonder eye cream crafted with wild indigo works to hydrate brighten and color correct to the delicate under eye area and i think under eye circles are kind of a concern of mine um i always just try to moisturize when i can but i'm definitely excited to be able to target it more specifically um this cream is also purple which is amazing so um it goes on and then you can obviously rub it in and it dries clear let me know in the comments down below if there are any other eye creams that you guys like because i would definitely be interested to try more since this is the first one i've ever tried you know at the end of the day when you want to have a calm like amazing mask that just makes the rest of the day feel like it didn't even happen Eve Loam Radiance Transforming Mask. This costs too much money, honestly, um, and I was gifted this by PR, but I'm obsessed with it and I'm probably gonna have to repurchase it when I run out. It basically feels like it's like better than the texture of Aquaphor, which I know I've probably said before a million times. Like I just love that feeling of being super hydrated and a really balmy texture. And this is that. So you can actually leave this on as a sleeping mask or you can put it on for 30 minutes and then wash it off. But this just does ridiculously nice things for my skin. Um, it doesn't really have a smell to it. I don't know why I just did that. But anyway, if you're looking for a slightly bougie mask for yourself, definitely, definitely check this one out. It kind of warms once it's on my skin, which I find really interesting. And by the time I wash it off, I feel like I've just done something good for my face. Next thing I wanted to talk to you about is a new launch from Fresh that I am totally obsessed with. This is the Rose Deep Hydration Face Sleeping Mask. And oh my God, this basically combines their Rose Face Mask with their Rose Moisturizer, which as you probably know, is my favorite moisturizer of all time. So as you can see, when I open it up, it's a two-part mask. First you apply the mask and then you apply the moisturizer and then you just go to bed and not only does this smell amazing but i really feel like fresh products are effective on my skin i always wake up with kind of a more glowy dewy complexion and yeah i've definitely been loving this one lately so if you haven't checked this out or any of the other fresh products yet definitely recommend they're a little more on the pricey side but in my opinion 100 percent worth it and the last product in the skincare category i wanted to talk about will make many of you happy if you have been known to carry this around Around in your purse with you as your daytime lip balm. Um, these are the new launches from Laneige. This is basically the lip sleeping mask that everyone loves and is obsessed with, but in lip balm form. So I have two flavors here. I have berry and grapefruit. I was sent the full range, but I gave two of them away on my Instagram, which if you're not following me on my Instagram, go follow me over there because I'm always doing little beauty giveaways or other fun things, and I wouldn't want you to miss out on the chance for like free Laneige or anything else. So I've definitely been loving this. I have super sensitive lips as in like usually the only thing I can apply is aquaphor but my lips have responded well to the sleeping mask so I figured I would give the lip balms a go to and I love them. I'm wearing the grapefruit one now and yes it does smell like grapefruit which is obviously a plus in my book and they're just great to throw in my bag and kind of have on the go with me. I actually only have three makeup favorites this month. Um, one of the things that I'm on the hunt for is a new foundation. So I just recently finished my Fenty Beauty foundation and I did love it and I know I can always go back to it but I want to try something new because foundation is not something that I test out that much so if you have any recommendations for me keeping in mind that I like lighter coverage naturally and I also have dry skin please leave me a recommendation in the comments down below I would love to hear what you think in the meantime though I wanted to talk about three products that I'm absolutely obsessed with um, two of them are from milk makeup so the first one is the milk highlighter and this is in the shade lit first of all it has some kind of amazing smell to it. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Maybe it's like coconut or something, but basically it's kind of a universal highlight shade and it's a cream shade. So as you know, you can either draw it directly on and tap the product in, or you can take it on your finger and kind of dab it. Um, I'm wearing it today and I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder because I can't get over how glowy and amazing this is. And I definitely am a big fan of cream highlighters over powdered highlighters, just because I feel like they're a little bit more natural for every day. The second milk product I wanted to talk to you about is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I was just so impressed by this. Um, I'm wearing it again today, and as you can see, it's very lengthening and separating, which are my two favorite qualities in a mascara. I'm not necessarily about the thickening or volume, unless it's for more of a night out, and I'm just so happy to have another kind of everyday mascara. I would say this is most similar from other mascaras that I've tried to Glossier's Lash Slick. This formula is definitely a little bit more like moisturizing and maybe hydrating, but Glossier's also doesn't smudge as much, um, but that's also just because I'm kind 
kind of clumsy when I put makeup on. Anyway, um, if you're looking for a new mascara, definitely recommend this from Milk, and so glad I got to try these two products, so I will definitely have to investigate more from them in the future. The next product I want to talk about, I know I have probably mentioned on this channel before, but I have not properly given it my hype speech that I wanted to, is the Thrive Cosmetics Instant Fix Brow Gel in the shade Audrey. This stuff has been life changing for me. So as probably many of you, I was obsessed with Glossier's Boy Brow, but I found with Boy Brow, sometimes the product would apply not necessarily consistently, and I know that it's nice for kind of a more natural look. In fact, I should probably just get the Boy Brow in clear so that I have it in case I ever wanna just do that. I previously had it in the shade Brown. But it also usually required like a pencil touch-up or something else with it and it just felt like a lot of work Whereas this is just an all-in-one brow product for me um, I'll give you guys a little close-up of my brows now This is the only product I use on them today and basically I love how pigmented it is But that you can kind of feather it out from the front if you want to the brush is also really precise as you can see it tapers in So it's perfect for kind of flicking out the edge of the end or from kind of brushing up in the front and I can't tell you how much I love this. I definitely want to try more from Thrive. So if you've tried anything from them that you love, please let me know because I need to know what to buy from them and they can just take all my money. My next category is actually hair. I know, shocking, I have some hair products that I've been trying that are not the same old, same old, which is really exciting for me. First one I wanted to talk about is the Orbi Gold Luxe Dry Shampoo. So I don't know... I feel like my hair has been a little bit like getting greasier faster lately. I feel like it might have something to do with our water in our shower. Like, is the water in Queens really that different from the water in Brooklyn? I don't know. I kind of pulled this out the other day, just like, oh yeah, I'll try this. And I honestly feel like it helped so much. You definitely have to shake this before you use it and spray eight to 10 inches from your scalp as recommended. Um, but yeah, I loved how this was. And the way that I've been using it is I'll spray it and I'll kind of let it sit for like 30 seconds and then I'll I'll go in and brush it out and yeah this is awesome I mean it's gigantic so it's not like I can bring it with me but I do have my baby Amika dry shampoo that I can always travel with which is great but yeah I've definitely loved this one this is my first product that I've tried from Orbe so definitely intrigued by it the second hair product I wanted to talk to you guys about is something that by the way is a complete like this is not really a necessary product like i don't necessarily think you should go out and spend 60 dollars or whatever this costs on this but if you happen to come across it or you're feeling a little bougie you got to try the christoph robin scalp scrub what even is this stuff like where do i begin i don't know it's basically a sea salt detox scalp scrub so it helps kind of purify your scalp and get any imperfections or impurities that have found their way into your hair throughout the day out of your hair. I use this just once a week um, and I don't go through it that quickly at all. I've had it for a couple months now and I haven't made that much of a dent in it so again hopefully this will last for a little while. And the last product I wanted to talk to you guys about is one that I'm obviously going to be obsessed with because it was customized for me. Um, this was also in my day in the life vlog where I got to go into Olfactory in New York City and create my own custom fragrance. Now you guys know I'm super sensitive to fragrance so when they invited me in to create a custom one I was obviously like, hills, yeah, that sounds amazing. And by the way, this video is not sponsored or anything. They didn't ask me to do this, but I've literally been wearing this every single day since I got it, and I'm obsessed with it. So the scent is called Austin, and you can actually purchase the Austin scent. They created a link for me, so you can go buy it if you want to from the Olfactory website, and they also give me a discount code. So if you want to, like, not buy the Austin one and just make your own one, definitely use the discount code, save yourself some money. I think this makes such a cool gift for someone, especially if you kind of know their scent scent preferences. So my base scent was Ashton and then we added in notes of grapefruit and pink peppercorn. So it's a little citrusy, it's a little spicy. Oh my god, but it just smells so good and it makes me so happy and I just love my little custom bottle and everything too. So definitely if you're in New York, check out their Mott Street store. All of their scents are unisex. So if you have like a boyfriend who's difficult to shop for or I know Father's Day is coming up, um, yeah, definitely something to check out and that I have especially been loving this month. All right, you guys, and there are my April favorites. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite product is that I've talked about, if you're gonna try any of them out. If you have any favorites from the month of April, let's keep this convo rolling down in the comments. I love being able to hear from you and chat with you and hear what you think about everything. As I mentioned earlier, if you're not already subscribed, please do so and like this video if you found it useful. Thank you all again so much for watching and I will see you guys in Monday's video. Bye.